Um, good morning, my YouTube viewers. It's Crystal here. I just wanted to make another video this morning. And this video is going to be on the geometric probability distribution. And before we talk about the geometric probability distribution, I thought it would be a good idea to read up on it a little bit to find out what it is. So we've just got this website up here and it says geometric probability distribution is a discrete probability distribution. It represents the probability that an event having a probability P will happen success after X number of Bernoulli trials with X taking values of 1, 2, 3 to K. A Brunelli trial is a trial which results in either success or failure. Geometric distribution of random variable x represents the probability that an event will take x number of Brunelli trials to happen. Here x can be termed as a discrete random variable. In other words, geometric distribution is probability distribution of X trials represents the probability that there will be X minus one failure before the event occurs. Here, the basic assumption is that the trials are independent of each other. Mathematically, if P is the probability that event occurs when the probability that event will not occur is 1 minus P, the probability that the event will happen after K trials can be represented in the form of the following probability mass function. And so they give you the formula. <clears throat> and let's see. Let's understand the concept in a more descriptive manner using basketball free throws shot example. In basketball, free throws or foul shots are unopposed attempts to score points by shooting from behind the free throw line, informally known as the foul line or the charity strike, a line situated at the end of the restricted area. Let's say that the players in the below picture is contesting as to how many shoots one will take to achieve a perfect throw scoring point. The goal is to find the probability that a shooter will have the first perfect throw in X number of shots. So I'm not going to read any more of this, so you can go ahead and read it if you like because we're just studying geometric probability distribution and then we're going to go ahead and go to the code because I have written the code so what we're going to do is this is your geometric distribution we import our libraries of NumPy which is for numerical computation, computations, statistics, it's just to perform statistics, and Seaborn, which is to make a hist plot. So geometric equals np.random.geometric, and then the probability is 10%, and the size is 100. And then so um, we create a histogram of that, and you can see the histogram below. And then so we, the mean is 10.6, the variance is 90, and the standard deviation is 9.5248. So that's basically how you make your geometric distribution. Uh, it's all quite complex. When we get into probability distributions, um, there's lots of probabilities distributions that you can study and so far we've studied the binomial, the normal, the Poisson and now the geometric. So that's it for this um, video. Showed you how to do the geometric distribution in NumPy. Showed you how to make a histogram of it and uh, one thing I will do like if you change the size to 1000 
It's just taking a little while to do it. And then you can see how the geometric distribution has changed. And so your mean is 9.4 by 5. Your geometric is variance is 82 and your deviation is 9.08. So that just tells you um, what happens when you change the size. So we'll go ahead and conclude this video since I've showed you how to make the geometric distribution. And I want to thank all of my subscribers for supporting my channel. If you like my video, please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you very much for watching my video. I look forward to making more videos for you in the future.